world move forward and Thailand will never be the same again is the slogan of Gao Klai or Move Forward Party. But what kind of Thailand do Parit and his colleagues at Move Forward envisage for the future? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, as you correctly said, our slogan is vote, move forward and Thailand will may, never be the same again. I think it, it stems from the fact that we see that a lot of the problems that we are facing in this country right now are actually problems that we have been facing for many years, whether it's regarding our um, crisis on economic competitiveness, whether it's regarding the issue of inequality that is rising, whether it's the lack of education reform, uh, whether it's issues of corruption. So what we believe is that um, since we've been facing the same problem for so many years, um, what that um, t is telling us is that you know, in order to fix these problems, we cannot rely on solutions that have been tried and tested in the past. But what we need are new solutions to take Thailand to a place where it's never um, been before. Um, and I think that's, that's kind of the, the origin of why we uh, came up with the slogan, uh, vote, move forward, and Thailand will never be the same again. One of the immediate goals of Move Forward Party is to put an end to military intervention in politics. What makes the party confident that it can handle the most powerful players in Thai politics? I think, of course, that will require reforms that go beyond focusing on certain personnel, right? Um, I think what we said as a starting point is that Move Forward will not join any coalition government that involve um, Pak, um, Palang Pasarat Party or Rom Thai Sang Chat Party because both parties are led or have the prime minister candidate uh -huh. who were involved with the military coup um, um, eight years ago. And this and were is non-negotiable? In... Non-negotiable. Um, because we believe, I mean, our mission is to return the country to a full democracy. And we don't believe that you know, these two parties, given that they're headed by the two people who were directly involved with the military coup, directly involved with writing of a new constitution or the 2017 constitution that extended uh, their powers via undemocratic um, practices. Uh, we don't believe that these two parties will be reliable um, or will be on board with us when we say we want to return the country to a full democracy. Um, so I think that's the first step, is that we will not join coalition government with these two parties. That, that means that, that under no circumstances would the uh, Move no Forward Party would sit down with these people and do some negotiations? No circumstances. Yep. This is a non-negotiable because we believe that our mission and their mission are very okay. different. And we let the people decide by the ballot box which future uh, they want to see in this country. But beyond that, I think um, to um, prevent uh, military intervention, I think there are two things that need to be done and what we are planning to do um, across the span of uh, our um, four-year term. The first one is I think we need to rewrite the constitution because we have to admit that right now uh, in the current constitution there are certain articles um, that are put in place to try and extend military power or at least the powers that are related to these uh, military or former military generals that staged the coup. But that one, that alone is not enough. We also need to do a second thing, which is to reform the military. Mm. So apart from writing you know, a, as perfect as a constitution can be or as democratic as a constitution can be, we also need to reform the military to make sure that they don't have power over the civilian government. Why Move Forward Party's progressive platform has struck the right court among young voters it has earned the ire of the conservatives, who see it as being too radical and anti-establishment. Okay. Um, firstly, I don't know what um, establishment in this context particularly means, but I think what it is referring to is that we are proposing uh, reforms mm. to a lot of political institutions that we believe are in need of reform. So, for example, we are proposing uh, drastic civil service reform uh, to ensure that you know um, the state um, is more transparent in the way it handles. Um, or in the, way, in the way it operates, um, that you know, all government data has to be open to citizens to be able to investigate. We are initiating um, drafting of a law to protect uh, whistleblowers or, you know, or civil servants or people who have seen certain corruption happening in front of their eyes, but in the past have been um, afraid that if they were to expose those um, corruption um, um, cases, that they might, you know, their safety and their career progression might be at risk. So we are you know, proposing a law to to protect those people. We are proposing drastic uh, reform, um, state reform regarding decentralization, right? Um, not just elected mayors across all provinces, but we are also pro pro um, proposing um, reforms or changes to how the, the budget is allocated. Pita Lim Jalandrat, leader of Move Forward Party and his prime minister candidate, is best known for his eloquence in house debates. But his leadership and ability to govern is still an unknown quality. What kind of leader 
would Peter be if he is able to clinch the country's top executive post? We as Move, Move Forward Party uh, are very confident that Kun Pita will make a very good prime minister. And we, I mean, as a party, we believe that he is the best choice to lead the country right now. The reason we say that is because we know that the world is fast changing. So what we need is a leader who is able to catch up with what is going on, um, you know, not just in Thailand, but um, across the rest of the world as well, and be able to catch up with all the trends that are happening at a fast pace. Um, I believe that Kun Pita's um, leadership quality um, that is very important is the ability to bridge, I think, three aspects. Number one is he's able to bridge between economic and, and political issues. And we know that the changes that needed to be made in this country um, have to span across you know, the three crises that I mentioned, mm -hmm. the, democ the crisis of democracy, crisis of inequality, crisis of competitiveness. Therefore, we need a leader who is able to understand a broad issues, a broad set of issues that span across both um, economic, you know, um, economic policies, political policies, and social policies. And I think Kunbita has that, that breadth. Um, the second aspect, or the second bridge that is important, is to bridge between generations. Um, because we know that you know, with the world that is fast changing, different generations may have different preferences, may have different norms, different beliefs. Um, and as a government, we have to govern for all generations. Um, so having a leader who is able to connect, on the one hand, is able to understand the values of the new, younger generations, what they want to see, but also, in a, in a way, also empathize with what the older generations may, may believe in. Um, is, is important. And the third bridge, I think, is bridging Thailand and the rest of the world. Right? And I think um, Kun Pita's um, ability um, to you know, catch up with global trends, not just national trends, I think will be valuable uh, for, for, for his role in terms of connecting Thailand to the rest of the world.